Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's busy on the little yard today, this morning. Uh, it's a lovely morning, nice and cold, a bit foggy. Best kind of mornings. If you agree with that, let us know, because I think this is by far the best mornings you can have. Anyway, what we're doing today, um, supply for a garage. The garage is a brand new one, but it's one of those concrete type ones where you struggle to get a fix in anywhere. Um, so we'll show you that. It's going to just be a little four-way consumer unit in there. Two MCBs. It's been fed off an RCD in the house originally, and they can't really change that. So, two, yeah, two MCBs, a 20 amp radial for two sockets, and a six amp for one four-foot light and a light switch. It's been pretty straightforward. Armored cable run. Uh, yeah, so let's go over there, not wasting any time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that business down below. Do me a nice favour, help the channel grow. That rhymed and it didn't even mean to. Anyway, can you tell I'm excited just because it's a lovely morning? Bosh, there we are now. Ryan's just unloading the van. We're in the garage. So yeah, pretty much we're going to be sort of running like a wooden wooden board strip like a creating like a little dado type thing across there up fuse board light switch two sockets and a four foot collingwood light we got that from Ryan collingwood light try one of them metal clad sockets that's Folex 4 in the house and we're going to run the cable across across this bit here, which is the old driveway is getting dug up in a few more weeks' time. So we're just going to leave like a loop of cable there, just so there's enough to pull back and bury. And then Ryan's going to do the honours of clipping it right across the bottom there, and it just goes into the house at the end. The honours, he says. The honours. That's the... Uh, bit out of the house. Done. So I've just got a whisker box. Thought I'd use one of them storm glands on this. It's the first time I've ever used one, but uh, I think it looks quite nice with a whisker box because it uh, kind of suits the same design. That's just going to get clipped right around by the man, the boy, the child. That looks like a 40-year-old man. Get him. <laughs> you ruin everything, <laughs> swearing. I'll show you what I'm doing here with this. So that's the one that I've done. Got another one to go on there. Uh, basically just getting a couple of plugs and screws with washers and then putting pink grip on each uh, on each upright just to give it a bit of a stick because you don't really get a good fixing in them. That pink grip will probably be stronger than the, the plugs and screws are, to be honest with you. Right, so that's patch trust out now, pretty much. That gives us a place for the, the consumer unit. Um, the armoured cable's going to come in. It's going to have to go into the... We need to earth it into the uh, consumer unit, so it's going to have to go surface there rather than round the back. Socket, socket, light switch, and then up, and the light's going on there. Happy with that, I'm happy with that. It's actually really strong, isn't it, Ryan? Mm. Solid. That's the worst thing about these like garages that are just like that concrete stuff because you, you just struggle to get a fix in anything. You go too far and you go right through, there's nothing really to them, is there? Struggle well, with it. The thing is, as well, it's conduit. How else would you go across without the bulk there? Well, nah, you'd, you'd have to just put saddles like on each one, but the fixings are not great, they're never, they're never solid, so. Sure, someone will know a better way of doing it than that, but we'll soon find out, won't we? Give us a stretch for old time's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Can't 
can't believe I've just done that. Right, go on, show them what you've done. Right. Not proud of this. So I've just cut this armoured cable down yeah, to uh, put the gland on it. Then got my gland pack all open and all that. Put the gland on, looked down and realised that I just grabbed the off cut. <laughs> grabbed the off cut and just put a gland on the end of that. And Ryan was stood there the whole time. <laughs> Didn't even notice well, what I've yeah. done. Well, you've been in the business I for what, 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> you've made that kind of mistake. Oh, it was a lovely gland as well. Just thought I'd show you this uh, Taurus gland or whatever they're called. That lock nut. It's got like little teeth on the bottom of it that uh, cut into the, the metal enclosure. And then it's also got a little glove screw there on the side. So you already get continuity between the two with a, without a fly lead but it comes with every little set of the uh, ring crimps so you can then run a fly lead off the side of that which I'm going to do anyway but pretty good them glands aren't they Ryan? Yeah. armoured glands in cleated down there through, left the loop outside so they can bury it when they come to doing the driveway. Conduit's just going to come out of there, bend, put a socket there, socket there, light switch and then up. Laser's set up there. That's going to run right through the centre of the conduit. And uh, this stinks of pink grip. So I've got the sockets then, one there and one there. Yeah. Got to get off there. Uh, I've got them. These little screws. They're the other ones that I brought home for. I brought them. No, you didn't, because yes, I, I just did. did. I brought uh, these. I brought these. These are better. These are. Uh. All right, well, we'll use them then. We've actually got screw holes right in the centre of this. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that's good. So I'll always get. <laughs> got screw holes right through the centre of the box and then. We can get the conduit saddles on from the same line, so. Round about there, and that'll be fair to. Well, 420 mil. Yeah, so we'll cut a piece at 420. I'll probably, I'll be able to just 90 bend that and then set it up to there. But I have got to get quite a few cables on that bend, so I don't know if I should just put a box there. I don't want to look like an amateur, do I? Right there, my pencil lining. Look for my pencil lining. That's mm -hmm. going to be good. Huh? You want it? You want it? Oh, right, go on then, yeah. Screw the socket in, and we'll just do the same thing for the switch. Tight. Yeah, I don't know if I should just put a stop end, uh, like a angle box there so I can get mm. the cables through because it's going to be the lighting and the power going through there. I'll just try it first, I'll just bend one, bend it and see it. Up there is probably just going to set and go onto the bottom of this steel and then the end of the light is going somewhere there anyway. Right, that's wired. The tube's pretty much done now. Ryan's just snapping the off cuts off. That bit there that's bent 90 and a double set and a 90 that he's got hold of. That was there. It was a set and a set and up to that. But I just know that I was just going to get comment after comment of why didn't I just do that rather than having a set across the board. So I just changed it. And that's the lighting feed. Got to go over there. Neutral could have gone straight to the light, but 
we haven't done that we'll just wave it in the back um back boxes are all earth tagged off well not earth tagged but you know what i mean fly leads need one on the switch as well right in here and that's that collingwood light first time we use one of these see how bright it is see if it's better than our usuals I don't think it will be, to be honest. What do we usually use? The thinnest dark. Got that little set there, a uh, little bend there, with a set into the board. Pretty straightforward, to be honest. Conduit down, switch, socket, socket. Beautiful bend, beautiful set, beautiful armoured coming out the back of there. Straight in there. That's that done. We just need to go and do the other end and then we can uh, do some testing in here. She's been stood in that position all day. <laughs> <laughs> She's a pretty good um, install to show pretty basic testing because obviously you can see it all. It's a bit easier than trying to show someone uh, when it's in an house and you can't see anything. So straight away we've just got radial sockets, that's the end of line there, so obviously doing an R1, R2, we'd expect that to be the highest reading. Um, so I've linked out the line and the earth, and I've got this little null box that I made, so I can just null my test leads, and they already are. So we check every socket, always check it while it's switched off as well, so we can prove the polarity. And it's so low, it's not even got a reading. So what I'll do, I'll just check. I'm just gonna, re let's just ring all these. Take it off, just put it back on. Cause maybe it was like below below zero null whatever if that makes sense no nope. she's still getting no reading whatsoever that's just because of how short this the cable is it has an r1 rn column as well which i like to fill in it does say only one's required but i do like to fill it in so we have to change change that to the blue probe in the in the middle so that we're testing between line and neutral now and in this case, because it's wired in singles, the reading should be the same, which is a uh, zero. And that kind of now proves that the polarity is correct. Well, yeah, she's getting no reading whatsoever. Zero point zero, zero point one six. When I take the null off. Um, so it's probably 0 0.01 because the, the test lead resistance is 0 0.15. So that's that column. I'm just doing this on my phone because I forgot the, the laptop today. So yeah, because that's a radial, then the, it's exactly the same procedure for the light. And then we, uh, next thing we'll do though is insulation resistance on these. Right, so we're now on the earth bar and the line conductor. We're on, well, it was on the earth bar. We're on 500 volts. See, that's, uh, that's where the Versal boards are a lot better. And obviously it should be greater than 999 because it's absolutely brand new. So neutral to earth. That neutral to earth actually does the neutral to earth of the lights as well. So we'll have to do that in a minute. So that's the sockets, same thing for the switches, uh, for the lights, um, when you do the lights though, you've got to make sure the switch is on, otherwise you won't be testing that section of cable. Doing R1, R2 on the lights, uh, I've just disconnected it at the minute, because uh, just so I can use the crocodile clips, because I can't get the probes in there and hold the camera and press the test button all at the same time. So we're on the line and neutral. Uh, we're not getting the reading, that's because the light switch is off, so that proves the polarity is right there as well. And we've got 0 0.15, so 
so the neutral should be pretty much exactly the same again because in this case it's in singles and the earth isn't smaller than the, the other two. Switch back off. So now that we're powered up, just got a ZS at the, the last socket at 0 0.48 ohms, um, which tells me that the R1, R2 was actually 0 0.01 and the reason it tells me that is because the Z, the ZDB there was 0 0.47 so plus the ZS at the socket and there you get the, the R1, R2 so just on there now I'll write 0 0.48 on the measured ZS and the measured KA is 0 0.48 also 0 0.48 um, do the RCD testing um, the RCD is in the main house so Ryan's going to do that for me now I'll do that from here so what I'll do I'll set the meter to uh, 30 milliamp auto test Ryan we well, just go in there and do the RCD so and it, first it'll do a half times test which we should get nothing and then that was uh, I'll go through the results it's too fast <laughs> so we'll do all four tests and then we'll do a ramp test afterwards uh, so at half times we got nothing at one times we got 36.1 was it so I'll record the highest which is the slowest um, and at five times we got either 14.3 so I'll write that down now before I forget so 36 so I've done a ramp test as well 25 milliamps which is a uh, very good actually for, a, for an older RCD 25 milliamps and that's going to be the same for the lighting circuit obviously because they're sharing the RCD um, not sure if I've, what I've shown you now on camera or if I've missed anything so you know what it's a wonderful day Right, that's all finished. I had to use the stickers that come with it because I've got the printer. But to be fair, that looks pretty much exactly as I do it. Those fuse box made the lid sort of stay open now. Um, or is that just a bit stiff? Quite nice, quite nice. Very nice, very nice. What do you think, Ryan? It's an early, it's an early flyer today. Thumbs out. Look at that. That looks ace. Stunning. All we've got to say now is peace. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to sub.